Hello everybody, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'd like to talk about an issue that I've noticed a lot of users are having with their email since upgrading to iOS 7 on their iPad or iPhone. And that is that with a lot of accounts like Yahoo accounts, AOL accounts, a lot of Exchange accounts, Hotmail accounts, Comcast accounts, people are able to receive emails but not send them. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can resolve that issue. So it's actually, it's nothing that you did. It's uh, something that kind of happened with the update. Not really sure what the reason is, but if you go into settings and you go to the mail contacts and calendars section, and again, I'm doing this on an iPad so that you can see it a little better, but this is the exact same on an iPhone. You'll notice that your email accounts are listed up here at the top and you want to click on the account that is being affected. So neither of my accounts are experiencing this issue right now, but let's just say I go and I'm having this issue with my Gmail account. So I click on my Gmail account, and now I'm going to click one more time on this account section up here at the top, and it takes me to this page. Now on this page, it has my the name of the account, the email address, and the password. On this page, your password is probably correct if you're receiving emails. However, if you can't send emails, for some reason in this section down here where it says outgoing mail server, your password is incorrect. So if you click on this where it says SMTP, we click right on it, you might get a list. There might be a whole bunch of email servers listed here. That's okay. We want to look at this primary server or if this primary server is turned off, the first one in the list that is turned on. So in my case, it is the primary. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to open that up. You want to make sure that on this page, now this doesn't, uh, this hasn't affected any Gmail accounts, uh, but for your Exchange accounts, your Yahoo accounts, your BellSouth.net accounts, in the username field, you want to make sure that your full email address is in there. Now it should be by default, but it could not. So make sure your full email address is there, and then go ahead and in this password section, retype your password. Even if there's a password in there, retype it, and then go ahead when you're done, hit this done button. Now if you've entered your password correctly, I'm just going to go back and see if my other email account will actually let me change that information so I can show you a little bit better here. Okay, so this, like, this actually, the iCloud account doesn't let me change it either. Both the iCloud and Gmail accounts, neither of those have been affected. But in all of affected accounts that you can't send emails, you will be able to edit these fields. So enter your full email address, your password, and then hit done. Once you hit done, you should see a check mark verify all this information then you can go ahead and go back into your email try sending a test email I'll tell you that if you're having that issue where you're receiving them but not being able to send them and you change and you enter that correct email address in that field it will resolve the issue so real quick recap settings mail contacts and calendars click on the affected account under the account section click on account again then we're gonna go down here to the outgoing mail server where it says SMTP. We're going to click on the first one that is turned on, and we're going to make sure that our full email address is entered in the username field, and we're going to re-enter our password, even if there's already one in there. Once you save those settings, you'll then be able to send emails. For whatever reason, the update has the right password for receiving emails, but in the sending emails section, it just doesn't have the right password. So I hope this video helped. If it did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, including some more iOS 7 tutorials, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.